Ignite is an ongoing series of speedy presentations. Each speaker gets only five minutes and 20 slides that auto advance every 15 seconds. Hello, my name is Jacob Applebaum. I'm a developer with the Tor Project, and I'm here speaking to you about a project that I'm involved in, which you may have heard of. Have any of you heard of this? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic, okay. I'm here tonight because Julian Assange is not free to travel to the United States. I'm here because the country in which we live is perhaps not the country in which we would like to live. So, WikiLeaks is an organization that is working for transparency, and specifically the goal that we have with this transparency is justice. So, WikiLeaks presents a clean slate for the world. You see, there is injustice everywhere, and everywhere there is injustice, there is secrecy. So people try to hide their injustices. So what we can do is shine light. This is Julian Assange and Daniel Schmidt in Berlin, a photo I took of them after they gave a talk recently. Um, you see, these are two of the biggest inspirations in my life, good friends of mine who are changing the world. And what they're doing is they are bringing a way for you in your position in life to give documents that you cannot possibly leak attached to your name because of the repercussions. And I think that it is important that you think about the things that you see and change it. That's what Daniel Ellsberg did. This is him in 2006 at a restaurant down the road when he released a book, Secrets. He's the man that ended the Vietnam War by leaking the Pentagon Papers to the newspaper. So I'm gonna talk about two things. One is a wonderful, wonderful video that is absolutely tragic, but it's good that it got out. It's called Collateral Murder. Anybody here heard of that? Yes. Probably all of you, okay. So, probably the most important thing to take away from this is that the US government decided to authorize the killing of possibly up to 18 people, including shooting a little girl and exploding shrapnel into a little boy in a van. And they did this without any weapons, directly seen, you can see some of this. I didn't put the video up because it's not really appropriate to show you just a clip of the video. But in any case, the thing that is probably the worst about this is the only reason you know about this video is because two Reuters journalists died. If those journalists had not died, no one would know about it, and certainly no one would really care. And I think that that's pretty tragic. When people came in this van to help, a 30 millimeter cannon from an Apache helicopter shot them down. Right? And it's not just a war zone, this is a neighborhood where people live. So that to me is a, a, a huge tragedy. But the good news is that WikiLeaks brought this out. And this was brought out because this is injustice and we have to show it. But there is some danger to this, which is that the people that are responsible for running WikiLeaks and the people that are involved in leaking documents, they are not necessarily safe. And so it takes a great deal of support from people like you guys to make this a reality. Most well, certainly, if you have documents, you should leak them, especially if you think that it is relevant. I mean, this is the kind of injustice that I, as a taxpayer, need to know about. It is not possible for our democracy to function when people conceal this type of information. Only when we are informed can we actually make <coughs> rational decisions about it. So, an interesting thing happened. Julian and Daniel decided to announce to the world a plan, and that plan is to create the Switzerland of bits. And this is at the 26C3 in Berlin, Germany. If you haven't been, I recommend Chaos Computer Clubs, uh, Chaos Communications Congress. They announced this, the Icelandic Modern Media Initiative. Basically, we want to create a place that embodies the opposite of what Switzerland uh, does for money, let's say. All the, shady put their, uh, all the shady people put their money there. We wanted a place where you could put truth, where you could put actual historic facts, but they couldn't be replaced where libel tourism is not possible, where you protect journalists, and investigating journalist sources would be a crime, where if you try to out someone in, in such a way, it wouldn't be possible. This is one of the ministers, um, or I should say one of the parliamentarians for the movement party, and this is us sitting across the street from the parliament when we were in Iceland in January. This, this set of rules is an embodiment of Scandinavian culture and is an extension of what you would see in Iceland. That's, of course, uh, the parliament, so if you, if you can imagine, this place is actually holding up the ideals that I grew up as an American thinking were the like, greatest ideals. Free press, free speech, and good news, we won. 19 members of Icelandic parliament sponsored it and it passed unanimously. So what that means is that we actually have 
with WikiLeaks and the Icelandic people, created a place that is potentially free for the rest of the world. So now it's up to all of us to put that information out there and make a better world. Thanks.